Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about a AI powered resource assistant called as A4AI. A4AI is a tool for students and researchers. It compares itself to other popular tools like Zotero and Mendeley. Along with being a reference manager, it also has other AI powered features that can help you to make your research workflow more efficient and more effective. In this video, we'll talk about some of the major features of this tool and how it can help to level up your research workflow. Before we dive into all of this, let us talk about the pricing of uh, this AI powered tool. Uh, it operates on the freemium model, uh, which means you will get all the basic features of this tool for free, which will limit you to 20 AI queries per day and 500 MB of storage. If you switch to the paid version, you will have access to some of the paid features such as advanced AI models using GPT-4 and Cloud 3.5 Sonnet or you can also bring your own API keys. You can get started with A4AI for free and check whether this is the tool that you need or not. So now I will log into my account and show you some of the basic features of this tool A4AI. So this is the interface of A4AI. Let's talk about the first feature that is using it as a reference manager. So you have the option to upload files. You can upload your reference material using three methods. First is by uploading the file. Second is uploading the URL and third is by uploading the UI. I'll just click on upload file and I have downloaded some of the research papers that I used for my bachelor's thesis. So I'll just select these three research papers and I'll upload over here. And it supports uh, upload for all the popular formats such as PDF, docs, text, markdown, EPUB, presentation, PPTX file. So I'll click on upload and it is being uploaded over here. Once it is uploaded, all of these files will appear over here. Now here you have all the reference material. If you click on any of these reference material, it will take you to this info section where you can add a tag. And here is one important uh, feature that is citation, which is automatically filled by this tool. When you right click on any of these reference material and click on this generate citation, it will uh, auto generate the citation based on the information that was previously shown on the sidebar. You can also edit and add more information on this uh, citation section. Then you can right click on any of these references and click on generate citation to generate the citation. And you will be able to see bibliography and citation over here, both in preview. And copying this will add it to your clipboard just like this. In the reference manager, you can create multiple folders as well. Right clicking on the a library will create a new folder and by using folders you can differentiate reference materials for different projects another thing that i liked about this tool is that it has shared libraries shared libraries allows you to share the reference material with multiple people so that they can assist you in doing research so you can create a library by just clicking on add a library and here you have the option to create a shareable library clicking on this option will create a shareable library which you can write a list we name is shared library now you can add reference materials to this library and invite others to collaborate on this research. You can invite others to take notes, you can invite others to do literature review, etc. To add people to this shared library, you'll just need to right click and here you have the option to invite people and here you will need to provide the email address that they are using with A4AI. And you can also manage the permission. These are the three permission, can view, can edit and admin and all of the pending invitation will be visible over here. The next feature of this tool is the real game changer for researchers. It is called Research Assistant. Although it uses API keys from large language models like Cloud and OpenAI, it is designed especially for research, so it provides better results. It provides more reliable uh, results than the generic tools like ChatGPT and Cloud. So there are three methods that you can use this Research Assistant. The first is a document retrieval mode, second is semantic scholar mode and third is google source mode. I'll explain all of these modes one by one. So the first one is document retrieval mode. If you choose the document retrieval mode, the AI will feed or consume all the information from the research papers that you submit to it and based on that information, it will give you replies or answers. So I'll choose uh, the document retrieval mode, mode over here. Uh, when you choose document retrieval mode, you will need to connect files what are the files that you want the AI to read? So uh, I just choose only one file. You can choose multiple files as well. Close this one and you have one file selected. Now you can query using AI. Let's ask it, give a brief 
overview of the paper. This will give you answer based on the research paper that we submitted to it. And currently it is reading. So now it is giving the response based on the provided context that is the research paper. So it gives the overview of the research paper like study area, methodology, results and other important points from that research paper. So this is the first method that you can use the research assistant. The second method is Semantic Scholar. Semantic Scholar is a AI powered research tool for scientific literature. It allows you to source from research papers. It has currently over, you can see, uh, it's like 220 million research papers that are indexed and it allows you to source through, source through those research papers. So I can just ask it to find research papers related to certain topic that I want to research about. So I'll just ask it a question that is related to my research. So I'll just send the question and we have selected the semantic scholar method for our chat and it will probably give us the related papers to our question. So now you can see the AI is generating response. Now it has generated the answer uh, for our question. What are the researches related to floral diversity in Nepal? The semantic scholar method will pro provide answer based on the research papers that are available. It will go through all of the indexed paper and give us the result that we want. And some of these papers are like this one, which was a research on Rupa wetland. And this one was the one I used for my thesis. So this is really good for finding research papers and getting a brief overview of what the research was about. You can use it in multiple ways as well based on your own personal needs. So this is the semantic scholar method. The third method is Google search method, which will give you a response based on the Google search results. And it will also provide complete citations such as where did the information came from, whether it came from a journal article, whether it came from some news portal, etc. And this is the final option which will not use any tool. So it will give you response based on the generic AI model. So if I ask it a question, it will not give me a good result because it is just a generic AI model. So you can see I'm using the cloud 3.5 Sonnet model which is one of the best models currently and it is still apologizing for the confusion. It says I can just guide you on how to find this information but I can't find this information. So this is one of the limitations of the other tools like cloud and open AI. They cannot give you answers that are tailored to your research but this tool with features such as semantic scholar mode and document retrieval mode will give you answers that are tailored to your own needs. So this is the second powerful feature of this tool, F4AI. And you can also share these chats with other. By default, they are private, but if you want to share, you can toggle the option to public and you can just share this link and they will have access to this chat. The third feature of this tool, A4AI is a notebook, which is also available in other tools. So I'll just go to one of the files and if you open this File. you can just click on view file or you can double click and it will open the file now you can add annotations you can add highlights uh, you can add notes to this research paper here is the option to add text highlight here is the option to add area highlight and here is the option to add a sticky note you can select the text and highlight it if you want to highlight an area you can just click on this area highlight and just select the area that you want to highlight. Then finally, there is the option to add sticky notes, which you can add anywhere. You can just uh, write your comment and this will appear as a sticky note. With the sticky note, you can also trigger AI so that you can directly ask questions over here. Let's say I write a question, give a conclusion of this research paper. This will give me results based on this paper. So now if you click on this, so you can see uh, these are the major findings of this research paper. And this can be very helpful for saving your precious time doing all the manual work of reading hundreds of literatures and doing literature review for them. This gives you a more efficient and effective way to do literature review. So these are some of the important features that A4AI offers. If you are a student or a researcher or a professor, this tool can be very helpful in conducting an efficient and effective research workflow. I'll provide a special promo code that will give you discount on the premium version. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.